Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shalek Horse Lover 14 here, and um, I'm going to be doing my first ever barn tour today, and um, yeah, I just started my collection. Um, make sure you like if you enjoyed it, and um, turn on post notifications and subscribe, um, and I hope you enjoy the video. Alrighty, so the first setup here is um, Emily and Brooke. And what Emily's doing is just by the door, like, telling Brooke to, like, get Pickle, um, tacked up. And you'll find out who Pickle is if you don't already know in my last video, Brooke's birthday. But, yeah. And Brooke is like, oh, yeah, sure. And then, um, there's just, like, these nice flower things. Actually, they can come apart, too. So, basically... Yeah, and also, um, a little hack here is, um, if you're ever, like, struggling to, like, if you wanted to put lead ropes or anything on this thing, like, for example, oh, um, maybe I want to tie up a horse to brush them, then just take the flowers off, and then tie it, and then put it back on if you're doing a scene. That's just my little tip, and... That is, ugh, damn. And that is the scene where Emily is telling Brooke to get pickle tucked up. And just beside that, we have the hay bales. Actually, I pretend right here that this is like for diabetic horses or something. Like it's got no sugar in it, and like. This stuff is more for like no not not diabetic horses. So actually I made Dusk oops um, um a diabetic horse because she sort of reminds me of a horse at my old barn named Precious. And yeah, so I just sort of made her the diabetic one and we have a brush kit here. Alright, so the first thing we have in our brush kit is a little huff pick. Um it's very, very small, as you can tell in comparison to my fingers. I have a pretty small hand, by the way. But anyway, um, this is the overall hoof pick. It's green. It has a little hook for, like, digging stuff out of the horse's hoof. And there's also a brush on the tip. So um, the next thing um, is a little, like, hard or soft brush i don't know but um anyway it's very very detailed in the middle here like there's very like rigid lines to make it look like a brush then on the outside it looks like a like whale's teeth which is weird but it's what it looks like and then it doesn't actually fit in emily's hand very well um you probably saw in my episode uh, Majesty's Runaway, but anyway, um, I try, I've never tried to use it with Brooke's hand, but it might work for hers. And I'm sorry, it's a little noisy here because my family's pretty loud, so just warning you. Anyway, um, so yeah, I found out that this brush fits on Brooke's hand fine. So... That's that for you. If you want to know how to use this brush, uh, that's how. So, Alrighty, so the next thing here is a soft brush. And it is very detailed, again, like the other one. And it's basically just a black soft brush, so I'm not going to go into do much deal detail about it. And then um, this is um, just... Two curry combs, you know, average brushes. Um, this one came with the truck and trailer set, which I will be getting to later. And um, this blue one came with the barn, I believe. And they're basically the same except different colors. Okay, that is the brush kit. And now I'm going to be going on to the paddocks. Alrighty, so over here we have a horse named Dusk. Um... Also, sorry guys, Dusk is a girl. Um, in my other episode, I keep saying, like, good boy and stuff, but, like, he suits a boy. Like, to be honest, comment down below if you think he looks like a boy 
or a girl, but she, Dusk is a girl. Just clearing that out. And this blanket came with the barn, by the way. All right, let's put Dusk back. And then over here, um, we have one of my newer horses, Bojador. Actually, Bojador is named after the stallion at the barn I ride at. And um, actually, I had to get him a gelding because there's no stallion. And it looks almost exactly like him, except the dapples are a little darker. But it's quite a good resemblance, and his mane is darker than him as well. And he's a stallion, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. And that his name is Bojador. And he is right beside Dusk. Um, so... That's those paddocks. Alrighty, and in the next paddock here, um, these are supposed to go like in between there onto those latches. But, uh, sorry about my dog in the background, by the way. But he's a little hungry and my brother won't feed him. Um, but anyway, this is Midnight. She came with the truck and trailer set. And um, actually, she looks black in the lighting I have. Sorry about the bad lighting. I just don't have a very good lighting setup. But um, let me try to get, like, if you can see, she's definitely brown. Okay, my iPod just focused. But she's very beautiful. And she's a mare. Um, so this is her without her blanket. Um, she's very beautiful. I just like to keep it on her for some reason, but this is Midnight. Alright, and then right next to Midnight, there we have a mare named Rosa. Actually, we got a pretty close resemblance to a horse at my barn named Rosa, who is pregnant with a foal with Bojador over there. And, um, I think it's a pretty close resemblance, but, like, Rosa has a giant star on the top of her head instead of a blaze, but still pretty good. She does have the darker muzzle, though. Alrighty, so I have my flash on now, and you can see that Midnight's a brown, and that this is Rosa. Uh, yeah, so that's Rosa, and then right next here, we have Midnight's full. And they were, like, rescued from a shelter or something. And his name, or her name, is Coco. Um, and he's got a little tiny full tail right there. And he's actually also one of my favorites. Like, look at that face. He's so cute. Um, and actually, I love his, like, socks or whatever. So if you didn't like that flash, I'm sorry. But right now, if we go into the barn, we have, oh, sorry about the flash. It's just a little dark in here. We have Pickle. Now, okay, Pickle is overall my favorite horse in the barn. He is the most beautiful stallion ever. Like, I just, I love him. He's my favorite. No questions asked. And like I said before, my barn is pretty dark, so I'm going to have the flash on for these. But yeah, and he's just eating some apples right there. He's got the green halter, obviously, like, his name is Pickle. And he's actually my definite favorite. And then right across from Pickle, everybody knows Majesty. If you haven't seen my other videos, then I'll give you a background story on And then, um... Sorry about my family in the background. Um, I don't really have a quiet house. But um, anyway, so this is Majesty. And um, alrighty. So Majesty is a brat. She loves dressing up. She is a definite show pony. And she just hates horses, you know? Like, alright. So her backstory is... She loves carrots. It's all she'll eat and grain. I know if you haven't seen Brooke's birthday and you've seen my other one, this video will make no sense to you. 
but she loves grain and will not eat hay ever since her runaway. When she ran away, she hated grain, but then she came back and ate some hay and was like, oh, this is disgusting. So, um, obviously, Emily had to go and buy grain for her, and she just gobbled it right down. And she still loves her carrots more, but if she has to eat real food, she will only eat grain. Majesty is the, like, brat and, like, dominant weird mean she's actually really mean to the other horses especially pickle um so yeah also make sure you go see my video my newest video um brooke's birthday it'll make sense to you why she's so mean he just had her eating some carrots obviously um but that is that and then um out here again, we have my sign. All right, Va welcome to Grove Valley Stables. So this is the sign. I actually might update it soon. It, yes, it's very new. I just started my collection. But I think I might um, redo the sign design because I'm not really happy with the design. So I'm probably just gonna do something different on the bottom and keep the name. Then we have some stickers that came with the with the set of the barn itself. Um, and I have the roofs here. But, like, honestly, I don't enjoy having them on. Because then I just need to take them off after. And, um, basically, it's just really hard to assemble after. Also, this is the sticker sheet that's left over of what I haven't used that came with the barn. Then we move over here, and I just have my poop area. I don't have anything else for that right now, so it's just what I'm using. And then we have my muck fork that comes with the stable. I just have a pencil sharpener for that. And then we actually have my riding arena here. It's just sand because I have nothing else right now. Um, I'm actually gonna try making some kinetic sand in, in a bit so that um, I can like have something softer instead of such crunchiness. <laughs> and then I just have my tack here because I don't have any stations or anything to put it on. And that's where I put my tack, so. And then this is the other part of the roof, but I use that as like a parking place. For truck driver Bob. By the way, if you don't know who truck driver Bob is, this is him. Um, he's also Brooke's dad, and he runs the stables. He, like, owns it. He doesn't run it. Emily and Brooke do. But he owns it. He works hard to afford it, you know? And he just sort of is in his truck a lot. But I use him in my videos quite a bit. Alrighty. So I just got that finished. And then this front opens. Ugh. To an engine of the truck. Comment down below if you know what these are for. Because I didn't see them in the instructions. So. Yeah, and my friend Rhea threw those out. So I don't know what to do now. So Comment down below if you know. Um, and then here we have the trailer part. Um, it's actually pretty big. Alrighty. Anyway, though. Um, it's got two wheels. You have to attach them yourself. And then I open this up. Mm, that simple. That simple. Also, it doesn't close all the way. So, like, you just lift it up, down, up, down. Also, I lost this sticker sheet for it, too. So, wasn't able to do those parts. But, anyway, um, if we open it up, we have, like, little gates here. That. And then on the inside of Bob's truck, that's it. Like, you just see Bob driving, and that's it. And then he's just going to fleet back into there. Fleet. All right, everybody knows that now, right? All right. Also, this is um a const one that's under construction right now. It is homemade. 
with popsicle sticks, a box, like a shoe box. It is also made with hot glue. Um, wire and some leather, like, like leather string or whatever, and paint. So that's all. And you're obviously going to need scissors. But, yeah, this and my riding arena are custom. Um, anyway, though, I hope you enjoyed my... That guy's not a part of it. But I hope you enjoyed my first ever barn tour. Then again, it's not very big right now. And I'm still growing it. But I hope you enjoyed my um, first barn tour ever. And make... And if you enjoyed it, please like to support me and then um, subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I post a new video and you can give me tips in the comments. Don't make them rude. Just like say it in a nice way and stuff. But that was my barn tour and see you in my next video. Bye.